Are you a vegan doing the holy tofurkey, it's almost Halloween and I don't have a costume scramble? Do you need something fast but want to make sure that it's in line with the epic veganness that pervades every aspect of your life, including your concepts of costumery, however last minute they may be? Well, have I got a solution for you. Well, 11, actually. <laughs> Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to a spooky nugget. That was scary. It's happened to all of us. You know Halloween is coming, and you figure you have plenty of time. Then, all of a sudden, it's All Hallows Eve Eve, and you've got nothing. While you need something simple and quick, you still want it to be at least halfway decent. And if it could, as a bonus, convey something about veganism, all the better. Well, I figured, I have two master's degrees in art, surely I could come up with something. Prepare yourselves for the culmination of my years of higher education. You're welcome in advance. Concept number one, supplies. Basic white shirt, black marker, sheet of paper or cardboard or poster board, optional flare, eyeliner pencil or similar makeup device. Not really my area of expertise. Instructions. With the marker, draw moo cow spots on the shirt. With the eyeliner, pencil, or similar makeup device, draw a spot or two on your face. On the paper, cardboard, or poster, write a sassy message. Suggestions include, go milk yourself. The slightly sassier, go milk your own mother. The classic, not your mom, not your milk. The feminist, my body, my milk. The a la Chick-fil-A, eat more plants. Or the more macabre, eat more humans. You get the picture. The next three are for famous vegan costumes. Concept number two. Supplies. Bed sheet. Instructions. Wrap it around yourself. Kick it BCE style, cause you're Pythagoras. Not only did he advocate not eating animals all the way back in 4th century BCE, he also refused to wear wool or animal skin. Bring it to the modern day with concept number three. Supplies. Bald cap, white t-shirt, glasses. Instructions. Swagger. You're Gary Yurofsky. Alternative variation of this costume, long curly wig, loose fitting hoodie-ish garb, your G-spot. Gary's rapping alter ego of the early 90s. Yes, that really happened. Make it medical with concept number four. Supplies, lab coat or oversized white button down t-shirt, necktie, glasses, optional eyeliner, pencil, or similar makeup device. Instructions, don all of the aforementioned items and draw on a goatee-esque beard if you want the classic look. Your health bomb dropper, Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org. Moving on to some food concepts with number five. Supplies, super simple. White poster board, string, marker. Instructions, hang poster board around neck, right, extra firm tofu, optional, organic. And equally simple is concept number six. Supplies, trash bag, scissors. Instructions, cut out three holes and put it on. You're a raisin. Want to be fancy about it? You're a date. Now for a political bent, we have the next two concepts. Number seven, supplies, white or black shirt, sunglasses, marker, masking tape. Unrelenting and baffling passion to preserve the purity of mayonnaise to the point of near food eugenics. Instructions, with the marker, write Mayo Police on a shirt or masking tape if using a black shirt. Don sunglasses and look displeased with the world. You're the FDA-backed mayonnaise companies who tried to take down vegan alternative Hampton Creek for daring to make mayonnaise without eggs. Learn your backstory here. Concept number eight, supplies, your regular clothes. Optional are a vegan message t-shirt and or vegan message button and or educational flyers about veganism. If outside of the United States, add an American flag. You are now a terrorist in accordance with the American Enterprise Terrorism Act. Learn of your crimes here. Concept number nine, supplies. White t-shirt, dirt, coconut oil or similar greasy substance, keyboard, reel or a cardboard created masterpiece, and an additional piece of cardboard. Instructions, rub dirt on the white t-shirt and optionally on your person. Run coconut oil or greasy substance through your hair. Apply liberally. Attach cardboard perpendicular to keyboard or your cardboard created keyboard. Disagree with and criticize everyone you interact with, but refuse to talk to them except from behind your facsimile computer hideaway. You are an internet troll. 
For a slight variation, answer every question and end every argument with the word bacon as though you've produced the ultimate intellectual trump card. For the super slacker with a side of smug, we have concept number 10. Supplies, vegan message t-shirt. Instructions, when asked what you are, say, someone who gives a damn. For the slightly less smug added humor option, follow this with, or at least enough of a damn to wear a clever t-shirt. For the grand finale concept, I shall demonstrate. Supplies, cheap Dracula teeth, eyebrow liner or similar makeup device, white t-shirt, black marker. Instructions, insert fake teeth, draw whiskers on one side of your face and, stay with me, it's about to get weird, a flower twiggy style with a teardrop under it on the other. And, trust me, a mini Hitler-esque stash and a unibrow. On the t-shirt, draw a little island with a palm tree and a chicken. On the back, draw three slightly spaced out wavy lines. Congratulations, you are now the embodiment of the most common arguments against veganism. Canines, lions though, plants though, Hitler was veg, caveman ancestors stuck on a desert island, bacon. I hope you enjoyed hearing my last minute vegan Halloween costume concepts. If you missed my previous video on how to trick or treat vegan, it's linked right there and below. I'd love to hear what you thought and especially if you try any of them out. What are you going to be for Halloween? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it around to help others in a last minute costume crisis. If you're new here, do hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. If you want to help support Bite Size Vegan, check out either of the support links in the video description below. And for perks and rewards, you can click on the Nugget Army icon there or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan, have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you soon. This is what you get with two master's degrees in art. That's the scariest part of this video.